Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6, the final season. Today we're going to be talking about some new teasers that have been released. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we have a few things to talk about, and the most important thing is in regards to David Howard and John Jones because David released a photo on set the other day and that was the first day they came back and so some of the Supergirl production design team and art department have been you know on the sets they made the sets ready for everyone to return to filming they returned to filming on the 18th now it's the 24th it's the weekend so I don't believe they're shooting so yeah Melissa is back and the whole Supergirl cast is back everything is moving forward as planned but I wanted to break down David Harewood's photos that he released online. He actually released three different photos. They look very similar. However, there is something interesting in the photos that I think may tease something that might happen in Supergirl's final season. So yeah, David was on set first day and he took a photo or someone took a photo of him looking at the monitor. It's him directing, right? So, you know, he's there, but he's also suited up. Hence, He's going to be in that scene as well or you know whatever scenes and setups they do in this specific set and so yeah cool image very exciting that david is directing this episode apparently this episode is episode six the last episode he directed was the season five finale which ended up being a mishmash of two episodes but anyway the thing i wanted to break down in these photos and you know they're going to be relaying on the screen whilst I'm talking about it and you can specifically look at the set design does this set look very familiar does the lighting does the way it looks look at all like anything we've seen well I'm gonna bring up a few comparisons here so some people said is it the Leviathan ship I don't think it's the Leviathan ship so that's not gonna be the focus of this episode but it is something alien it is something futuristic it doesn't look like anything that normal people in present day would have unless it was something from the future or it's something from another planet. So now, what could it be? Well, it really reminds me of Rhea's ship. It reminds me of the Daxamite ships. And that is mainly due to the lighting, but also the set design. And so the lighting, there is some blues here, but it's mainly lit by orange lights. So tungsten lights are lighting the place. And I'm going to have a comparison on screen right now. And you can see this is a pretty much exactly as they lit the Daxamite ships in season two. So the orange light is in the set. You can see Rhea here in season two as she's about to face off against Supergirl. You got the blue light in the background. Obviously in David's photos, it's more obvious because the orange light is blazing in the background. And so, you know, it's like a column, it's illuminating the sides. Just the kind of general architecture of it all doesn't seem at all human. And it seems something more like a Daxamite ship or like a Kryptonian ship. So what if the Daxamites are coming back and at some point Martian Manhunter and presumably Supergirl and the team get onto the ship? So I think that poses an interesting question because, you know, this season apparently we're going to have a storyline that is Legion-like. And that's a quotation from Jesse Raff who at a convention a while ago confirmed that the story is going to be legion like as he says and so what happens if that does bring back familiar places or familiar characters or familiar people from other planets like the Daxamites so it could totally happen and I think it's kind of likely that this is definitely not on earth they're either in a spaceship or they're on another planet Maybe kind of like what they did in Kevin Smith's episode when they went to the other planet, there was a portal, and maybe they find this place. Again, this is all theorizing, I don't know, but I can pretty much for certain say this doesn't look like anything we've seen before on Supergirl, apart from the Daxamite ships. And so what else is going on in this image? Apart from Martian Manhunter 100% being in this scene and this looking kind of alien-like, in the background on the right, there is some sort of projection. So they're probably projecting this onto the wall. And on this projection, it looks like there is a few different things that kind of relate to scanning. So maybe they're monitoring something. It seems like there is some sort of chart on it. Like, you know, a kind of, it goes from blue to yellow to red and it's some sort of measuring scale, I guess. So they are definitely monitoring something, and if this was in the present day, they wouldn't have projections like that. 
on this random wall so it seems somewhat futuristic and I kind of think this backs up the point of what we're talking about in this whole video with the theorizing about the Daxamites coming back or you know whoever it turns out to be but it seems like yes Martian Manhunter, Supergirl and the team have found this place they're in here and something is going down with inside, maybe there's some sort of big battle, this potentially could be the villain's lair. I mean it would be pretty certain by episode 6, we're probably going to meet the villain by this point and maybe even go to their location like, you know, their Daxamite ship or their ship or, you know, their base. So totally could happen what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments down below this has got me very excited about supergirl returning to film hopefully very soon we'll get our first look at melissa in the supergirl suit see what is going on maybe her hairstyle has changed and you know kind of just get the gist of what is going on with her filming because apparently melissa is going back to film a bunch of stuff that she missed when she wasn't there due to her maternity leave and so I wonder in the scene, are they shooting with Melissa or is Melissa with, you know, the B crew or something with and they're off in a different location, maybe in a studio filming some stuff that she missed. I'm not sure if it's happening straight away, but anyway, be on the lookout for that. And also we are expecting a flash trailer very, very soon because they just dropped the new Black Lightning trailer. So yeah, that's the latest DC TV trailer to come out. They dropped Superman Lois literally a few days ago and then they dropped Black Lightning just today. So that's two brand new trailers and obviously Batwoman's on tonight. Remember my Batwoman review is coming out later tonight, way into the evening after Batwoman airs. My review will go up straight away after that. So, you know, stay up if you're in Europe or the UK, watch Batwoman, then come to my video. Or if you're in America, watch later in the evening. So with all of this stuff dropping, are we going to see the Flash trailer very soon? It seems very likely. Again, we've been waiting a lot longer than we should have actually for this trailer considering that The Flash was originally supposed to come out in January, then it was delayed till February 23rd with Superman and Lois, which is still keeping that premiere date and we'll update you as to that in just a second. But then you have The Flash getting delayed a week later to March 2nd and currently it's January 24th. So when you look at it, you have a month and a bit, so a month and a week or so until The Flash drops its season premiere. So it's getting pretty close, but still we've seen nothing from it since DC Fandom. There's been barely any teasers about The Flash apart from them dropping the Chillblain casting. So I don't know how big of a character he's going to be. He's going to be recurring, but that's as far as we know. So expect some sort of flash trailer very soon, especially since they just dropped the Black Lightning trailer. And I know it's coming out in early February, but it is a promising sign. And so just quickly to go over what's happening with Superman and Lois, because we talked about this on the stream the other day, and you guys can go check that out and go check out my Superman and Lois trailer breakdown that I uploaded just two days ago. So go check that out. That's the last video before this. So what is happening? is that it's going to have a two hour premiere event on the CW February 23rd starting at 8 7 central then carrying on for the two hour time slot and I don't think the two episodes are actually that much linked up apart from the fact that they come after one another. I think the reason they put it together as a two hour event is due to the first episode actually being confirmed to be over 60 minutes long and to put that into perspective most Arava shows are about 40 to 45 minutes long worth of footage every week and that's not including adverts because you have like 15 minutes worth of adverts and that's why it takes up a hour time slot so superman and lois's first episode is much longer than normal so i'm not sure if they intended this on purpose it's a bit weird because they've never done something like this making an episode much longer even with Stargirl, when it had some longer episodes, for the CW, they cut it down to their normal 45 minute to 40 minute runtime. And so, episode 2 of Superman and Lois is supposed to be 30 minutes. It's really short. So, I don't know if this was something that was decided in the editing room after they filmed their stuff. They were like, nah, this isn't going to work as two episodes. Like, we need a longer first episode. That makes sense. 
and then they were like, oh, but we have this extra footage, we're supposed to do an episode two, so let's just make it 30 minutes and we will put it all together as like this big two hour event. So I don't know what the hell happened, but it didn't seem very planned from the way that they've kind of just rushed into this announcement. But nevertheless, I'm really excited. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about in this video before I leave you guys is I believe we have cracked down on one of the big new dates where we might be getting some new information. And this is March the 6th and March the 7th because Nicole Maines and Jesse Raff are attending a Comic Con. And so this Comic Con is Christchurch Armageddon Expo. This would normally be a Comic Con that would run in New Zealand, but it's a virtual one due to ongoing circumstances. So those two are there, and the last time Jesse was at a con, he dropped that Legion-like quote, and he dropped a bunch of stuff that teased what was going to happen in the season. And obviously since they've been filming, maybe they'll drop some more stuff about what they've been doing, and I think that would be very exciting. But before then, we will get set photos and everything like that when they come outside and, you know, we'll get our first look at Melissa and such. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to not miss any videos, especially tonight because we're reviewing Batwoman Episode 2. So, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.